This video is a part of the 5 for 5 series made by the Early Learning Coalition of Hillsborough County. In these videos, we talk about different activities you can do with your child five minutes or more per day that will help them practice skills and concepts in different key developmental areas. The 5 for 5 Spring into Learning series focuses on activities you can do together that are spring themed. Okay, so let's talk about spring fun with literacy. So if when we think of literacy, we think of reading, we think of vocabulary, language. So let's talk about the different titles that are excellent for spring. In fiction, we have just to take a few, um, just to take a few titles from spring, we have The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle, The Listening Walk by Paul Showers, When Spring Comes by Kevin Henke, and then again, Planting a Rainbow by Eric Carl. And those four titles are super popular, but the, um, the focus is on spring. So with The Very Hungry Caterpillar, it's a cute sequencing story about a caterpillar with a huge appetite. After reading, invite your little one to create their own caterpillar. Place Play-Doh, different colors, pom-pom, uh, pipe cleaners, and other odds and ends that you can find at the dollar store, Walmart, wherever you shop, and have them create their version of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Um, this will open up discussion about the book. You can go outside and see if you spot any caterpillars in your yard. Yeah. You can also have them create the different foods or retell the story with props that you create at home. For The Listening Walk, which is a great story too, it's a cute story about a young girl on a walk for a walk on a spring day. And all the different things that she hears, she sees, she smells, she feels on her walk. So after reading the story, go on a listening walk with your little one. It's a great extension for this to create a listening walk checklist. Think of things that you might hear, or you might see, or you might smell on your way, on your, on your walk. All it takes is a paper plate, as you see down at the bottom, and you can um, come, what you can do is take a paper plate, markers, and some friend, kid-friendly scissors, draw any of the items that you may think of, that you may come across on your walk, and then as you explore, you can fold those down as you, as you find them. This opens up so much conversation and vocabulary, the end, their capabilities are endless, and that's strictly just fiction. If we go to nonfiction books and magazines, there is so many opportunities to access some nonfiction, such as National Geographic readers. Um, Scholastic is another great resource. And there are tons of articles about spring ranging, ranging from insects, flowers, and animals, as well as the weather. Um, another good one is The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. And you see there's kind of a theme, Mr. Carle likes spring, I guess. Um, Another idea that you can do to tie these in is create an ABC flower garden. At the bottom, you can see, you can create that with chalk. You can create that with different um, household items that you, you were using for the caterpillar. Create a butterfly garden, as you can see here, with the household items. Another way to do this is journaling. Anything that you see or that you hear on those walks or that you hear or read in those books, journal. Talk about the vocabulary that you hear or that you read with them. Um, a good way to access these is to visit your local library or you can even access some of these books on YouTube. And in our resource page, we provided you with a link where you can actually um, click on it and you can hear Eric Carl read The Very Hungry Caterpillar to you. So let's move on to an activity that you might be able to do as a group or as a family. Grow a garden. Um, with this activity, all you would need are seeds, planters, and tools for growing your garden. These are easily gotten at your local Dollar Tree um, or at your local store, as you can see here. There are so many ideas that you can, you can be creative. You can make them just out of little planters, or you can use household items like a shoebox, a milk carton, anything that you have laying around the house. Before planting your seeds, you can sort the different seeds by color, as well as the color of the plant or the vegetable that you plant. Another idea is to read the tiny seed or planting a rainbow, which will help the child to make connections. 
if you see that you can um, create, as you see, you can create different planters from household items, like I mentioned, from um, shoe boxes, milk cartons, anything, even egg crates that you have in the home. These um, ideas and instructions you can find by doing a quick Google search. While planting, you can talk with your child about the process of planting seeds, and we'll learn a little bit more about that from, um, in our STEM area the textures and colors, and also what observations that you see happening as the plant grows. If you aren't ready to grow a real garden, try a pretend garden. You can create this with Play-Doh. You can create a planter with different household items like we've mentioned before, and allow your child to create and explore with Play-Doh. And then you can label your plant, your pretend garden, just like a real one.